Yeah, we had the opportunity to present our interim results of a RETAIN study. And um, this is a novel study where we really ask the question, can we spare cystectomies for patients with muscle invasive bladder cancer? We were not looking to improve survival. We were not looking to randomize patients between different arms. We were really looking at an allocation trial where patients who had T2 or T3 muscle invasive bladder cancer began neoadjuvant chemotherapy with accelerated MVAC as a standard of care, and at the same time had actually sequencing of their tissue, of their TURBT specimen. And if they had a particular mutation, one of four, ATM, FANC, RB1, or ERCC2, and they had no evidence of tumor after chemotherapy, neither in the bladder or on imaging anywhere else, they were allowed to go on to active surveillance, which means very close monitoring with cystoscopies, urine cytologies, and imaging. And the goal was to see if we could spare those patients who go on to active surveillance having, for example, a cystectomy. And the primary endpoint is two-year metastasis-free survival. We wanted to make sure, want to make sure that we do not have inferior oncologic outcomes to what we expect the standard of care to be, which is chemotherapy followed by surgery. That primary outcome uh, is not yet available because the way the study was designed, almost all patients have to reach two years for us to be able to report that. But there are some key interim findings that we felt are important to uh, report. And um, some of those include that a majority, over 70% of patients who went on to active surveillance actually have so far kept their bladder, have been metastases free and alive. However, at the same time, about half of the patients actually have some form of recurrence who go on to active surveillance. Most of that recurrence has been non-muscle invasive bladder cancer, and that has been treated primarily with intravesical therapy such as BCG. Uh, that's really the, the key findings. Lots of recurrences. Most are non-muscle invasive. Very few, in fact, only two have had um, metastatic disease in the active surveillance group.